My name's Ellis and I work as a senior data analyst at the moment in internal fraud detection for Services Australia. Well, the agency processes, I think, like hundreds of billions of dollars a year, so it's very important that we detect and uh, nip in the bud any uh, fraud that staff might be perpetrating. Well, I automate a lot of sort of mundane stuff like data entry and that kind of thing. And I also maintain a lot of the data sets that we use to sort of detect suspicious behaviour in uh, staff in, at the agency. Ellis joined Services Australia through the Aurora Neurodiversity Recruitment Program and it didn't take long for him to demonstrate his skills. When Ellis came in we had a bit of a, a giant mess of uh, mismatched software and technologies and stuff like that and he's spent a lot of time like re sort of integrating the whole thing and designing like an overall solution. Ellis has the ability to learn very quickly. When he started, he's the first to admit he didn't know much about Python, SQL or PowerShell, the tools needed to do his job. But within six months, he'd saved the workload of a full-time employee. At the start, we had a, about a week, or probably like two or three days a week that we just dedicated one person to just doing all these regular tasks. And now it's all just automated. So it comes in, well, you don't even press a button anymore. The button presses itself and then it all gets done. So it's been a real efficiency gain for us. The automation stuff is, is really quite interesting. I really enjoy that sort of creative freedom to sort of given a problem or find a problem and then just solve it. Um, yeah, that's probably the best part of the job, aside from my colleagues anyway. It's hard to believe this is Ellis's first full-time job. He'd applied for plenty of jobs before this, but it wasn't until the Aurora program that he was able to show his true potential. Well, I kind of went in expecting to fail because, I, again, I didn't really have any point of reference for, like, whether or not I was actually employable or, like, whether or not I was competitive. But when I got in and was shortlisted and sort of as the assessments went on and I thought I was doing pretty well, I actually became more and more confident in terms of my chances of actually getting a job. What's cool about Aurora is like you can actually, you can give people things like actual tasks that show what, like the skills that you need for the role. I really gained self-confidence. Even if I'd come out of that not having a job, I still think I would have had a sense of, you know, well, I, I certainly can go into the city from nine till three and do this stuff and sort of manage other people, which is something I wound up doing, more or less. He just gets things done. Like, I, I don't even know if that's a neurodiversity thing or it could just be an Alice thing. And that Ellis thing continues to exceed expectations. I really like my manager and the people that I work with. You know, they're very funny. I like to think that I can manage to be funny sometimes. Uh, and we all get along quite well. And we're not necessarily the most well-oiled machine, but certainly we don't, uh, we don't creak too much along the way. I really enjoy having a job. I am a valuable member of society. The government is willing to pay me, you know, tens of thousands of dollars a year to do my job. My colleagues all value my, my skills and expertise and my contributions. That's really not really an experience you have until you get a job, I don't think. Um, and it's really quite uplifting, to be honest. Mm -hmm.